Good morning and welcome to the video. It is Saturday morning. It's currently 7 a.m. It's about one degrees outside and we are heading out for a winter cycle. I have got about four different layers on. I'm hoping this is going to be enough to keep me warm. However, I'll come on to that in a minute. For now, let me chat you through the bike setup that I have got. So this is the Specialized Diverge Comp E5. It's technically a gravel bike, but I use it for all things gravel and road. It's a decent sort of entry to mid-level bike. It's an aluminium frame runs ceram apex group set we've got the 38 mil pathfinder tires on it it's a gravel tire but it's quite slick so decent for road especially in winter weighs about 11 kilograms and not the lightest bike in the world but i love it and it does a good job out there don't get me wrong i love that bike to bits it's the first bike that got me properly into cycling problem is i spent the last month riding around on a cannondale super 6 evo high mod which is a 10 grand road bike unfortunately i had to give that back to sigma sports as it was just a loan but naturally anything coming from that is going to feel like a downgrade and to be honest that specialized is more than sufficient for my cycling abilities anyway fueling for the day you know the drill we're taking the ote gels super gel and then we've got one of the uh, ote apple chews which is just like a harry bar basically full of carbs so rate that massively I've used one of the electrolyte tablets in one bottle and their super carb mix in another one i live by that carb drink for cycling because it means you don't have to take on too many gels and having your carbs in liquids form is a winner so kit wise we have gone with some bib tights and a long sleeve jersey both from university colors got the insulated raffa jersey and taking this snood thing just to keep my ears and face warm then i just have some of the fingerless gloves which i need some full length gloves because last time i went out my fingers were absolutely frozen it is also forecast to rain so we've got this universal colors waterproof uh, over jersey thing that I can stick on if it starts to rain now i'm hoping this is enough i'm still very new to winter cycling and it's forecast for about three degrees whilst we're out so fingers crossed <laughs> Hopefully you can't see the mess in the sink, otherwise my girlfriend will kill me. So I started cycling about five or six months ago now. And in that space of time, I've had some pretty cool experiences with it. I got to race Raiders Gravel up in Scotland, which is like a three day gravel event up in Dumfries and Galloway Forest. Absolutely beautiful place. And that was an experience. That was my first cycling event. And since then, we have also been able to get to the LeBlanc Tour in Ibiza, which is like a four day joyride event in Ibiza hosted by LeBlanc. I managed to get a space because I'm working with Sigma Sports and they sponsor the event, which was unbelievably cool. And I've developed quite a passion slash obsession for it. It's probably one of the most fun ways I can spend my time at the minute and I would encourage anyone to try it you don't have to spend loads on a big expensive bike get something off marketplace second hand whatever you can get uh, just get out on the bike it's just mint simply mint right breakfast is done just going to finish this coffee and then I've got about 20 minutes before the lads arrive and we set off so I'll see you in a minute and we are off 10 kilometers in immediately my hands are freezing but the rest of my body is boiling temperature management a tricky one out here but we don't complain because we love winter riding let's go we're out with chris and jack today they're well up ahead i've got some catching up to do so be back in a minute i've just hit a big bump because my bottles come flying off that had me car mix in as well it's fucking We're just coming through Wilmslow now. This is the start of the Wilmslow 10K race that's happening in a few weeks. A really decent little local race, about 3,000 runners. Would recommend it if you're into running. So the mission for today's ride was to take it somewhat easy. This was a recovery ride after a 17 kilometer trail run that we'd done yesterday. So the legs were feeling a touch tender, but I find cycling to be a really effective recovery tool to accompany the running. Quick little bike check. Christian is running the Planet X Pro Carbon. Jack is repping the BMC Road Machine, I believe. So a range of different bikes on display. So I thought as I'm new to YouTube, I would try and get cinematic with some of the clips. So we hooked up the DJI Action 2 to the back of Christian's bike and let it rip. As you can see, we were cycling through small lakes. At this point, the rain was really coming down. So this was my first real encounter with winter riding. And yeah, it wasn't ideal, I must say, but I felt pretty well equipped. But there is still definitely some essential kit that I need to acquire, most notably some proper gloves. And I could also do with picking up some overshoes because my feet were also soaking 
By this point, we were halfway in and I could feel significant puddles developing in my shoes. So if you've got any suggestions for overshoes, please do drop a comment. Also, like and subscribe if you are into this kind of cycling adventure content because I'm going to be doing a lot more of this in the coming months. I've got a couple of big rides lined up in the Lake District where we are going to take on some of the biggest climbs in the area. Anyway, back to the ride. We were fast approaching a well-deserved coffee stop in Nutsford. Another enjoyable part about cycling, you can stop for food and drink and not have to worry about getting a stitch when you set back off. Right, we've just stopped off for a coffee. It's time to warm my hands up because they are numb as anything. I need to go find a pair of gloves ASAP. But we're about 40 kilometers in. Going strong so far, just the weather is shambolic. Felt like we were making a bit of a mess here. We were dripping wet, mud splattered all over our back and arse. Not an ideal state to walk into a cozy little tea room, but it's simply too cold to be set outside. So we got stuck into the coffees. I had a Coca-Cola and Christian got a coffee cake. Saw that off and then it was time to hit the road feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. And best of all, I could also feel my hands again for the first time in an hour. But that did not last too long. Just made it into Tatton Park. It's normally a beautiful place, but it's looking a bit dreary today in this weather. I've not managed to source any gloves either. It seemed like a hot commodity in Nutsford. They weren't in any of the charity shops here. One thing I was starting to take issue with, as well as the lack of gloves available to purchase in Nutsford, was the way the gearing is set up on this gravel bike. It's set up as a one by, which is obviously ideal for gravel, which is what the bike is intended for. But on road rides like this, which I find myself doing more and more often these days, my top end speed is fairly limited on the flat due to the lack of gearing at the top end. This wasn't something I'd been too bothered about before, but coming from riding that Cannondale Super 6, the one by gearing on this Specialized feels really limiting for road rides. Or maybe I'm just trying to convince myself that I need a road bike. Right, we have made it back. That was really wet and cold by the end. The bike is a disgrace. It is disgustingly muddy. But we ended up doing 67 kilometers, 588 meters elevation. Uh, we averaged a speed of 24.65 kilometers an hour, which it's fairly decent for me, especially considering the wind and the rain. God damn, I need some gloves. My fingers were numb as anything by the end. It's also such a nightmare trying to film stuff when it's wet and windy and that. I'm just getting splashed from all angles. I've got a hot chocolate. I'm going to go inside and warm up. Bring the bike in the kitchen for a bit and let it dry off by the radiator. And I can sort that later. It needs a good old clean, that does. I should be getting a Wahoo kicker soon enough so you can catch me in Zwiftopia instead of out there in the pissing rain because it's going to be a long winter if I have to go out there every time I want to ride the bike. Oh, that's some good shit. Every time I was on Christian's wheel, I was just getting splattered for England. I've got shite all over my face. Right, I think I'll leave that there. I'm going to have a bath and I don't fancy putting that on YouTube. So nice one if you've watched this far and I will see you next time. Goddamn love this cycling stuff, me.